Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Nice for me. How are you? I am making a coffee this morning. Enjoying this beautiful new dress that I thrifted. Wearing this nice, long, beautiful dress that I thrifted. I've thrifted this cardigan like forever ago, but it goes down to the floor over the big bump. So that's helpful. I told my husband I have been trying to find longer dresses that will fit over this big growing bump that's only gonna get bigger. I've been looking for longer dresses too to accommodate the bump because while it's winter now I can easily layer up and then come summer as it gets warmer I can take the layers off and be more comfortable and then put them back on postpartum come winter again. Oh hi! Fire! A fire? It's not a fire. It's just coffee. Don't forget to drink your water. I say that in every video. Please drink your water. This morning when I woke up, I thought it was just a frost because we've been waking up to pretty frosty mornings, but nope, it snowed. Not a whole lot. It's kind of melting as you can see. But today is the last day the sun is going to play peekaboo and then it's going to go away for the rest of the week and snow. While I prepare for a very cold, snowy week inside, I want to get a lot of my projects ready to work on. I have finished a few of them. I finished my skirt. I will show that to you. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm almost done with the baby carrier, actually. Here, yeah, baby carrier. Oh, how's baby? The good? I am exhausted right now. I checked my pregnancy app no, and yeah, apparently, a baby mama. yeah, baby is going through a very big growth spurt right now, which explains why I am absolutely exhausted. So my plan for today was to work on a few sewing projects finish up a few since I finished some already. Um, I made a rule that I cannot purchase more materials and start a new project until I finish my current projects. So because I finished a couple of them, I'd like to start up some new ones that I could finish the rest of the week while we're stuck inside when it's cold and snowy. And kind of organize my craft area because it's an absolute disaster. <laughs> the other thing on my mind hey, I hate the is this disaster of a bookshelf. <laughs> it's cluttered and driving me insane. So I would really like to fix this up. So I'm thinking of switching out this basket because I want to be able to use it for picnics and like some homeschool stuff too. Um, it fits there perfectly, which is why it's been there for so long. Um, I'd kind of just like to move it, switch it out with something else, move a lot of these cluttered books, especially since we don't use the bottom shelf for toys anymore. They have to keep those in their room. So maybe I can move a lot of this down into that space and just work really hard on getting them to keep their hands to themselves and not touch stuff. Also, we started a new book last night called The Forest Fire Mystery, which is a book I thrifted a long time ago. We just read the first chapter last night. I've been keeping that up there, out of their reach. Pretty good story so far. I honestly have no idea what it's about, but first chapter definitely got me interested. Alright, so that's a plan. My very vague plan. I 
do really need to clean out my refrigerator. And tomorrow is trash day, so I should seriously do that. I just, I really don't want to, to be honest. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is clean out the fridge and do a whole bunch of dishes. Hi, baby. Love you, baby. Love you, baby. Mm. I would drink my coffee while I read the last chapter of Judges. I've been doing a different Bible study. I have been reading each book of the Bible and kind of like reading and annotating, basically writing down a summary of each chapter. I've been highlighting and underlining and things that stand out to me, things I want to remember scriptures I don't understand, or prayers I'd like to remember, things like that. Um, I've gotten lots, lots, got a lot done so far. I will be reading Ruth tonight because it's only four chapters and I love the book of Ruth. I read Ephesians last night, which such a good book. You should definitely go read it if you have not this week yet. It's only six chapters. It's really easy. Beautiful. Beautiful letter written by Paul. Um, but yeah, after I read Ruth, then tomorrow we will start on the first book of Samuel, which is one of my favorite books. <laughs> I love the book of Samuel. I have prayed many prayers from the book of Samuel, the first book. I love the story of Hannah and her faith. Yeah. Yeah? Get a good to read Bible. 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 Mommy's Bible. Mommy Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kisses? What is your Bible? I'm reading the Bible. Yeah. What is your Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My Bible. I your Bible. <laughs> Let's read the Bible. I'm reading the Bible. Bible story. My most powerful. <coughs> the power. Mama. How to eat. <coughs> so hurt. Much <coughs> her beef. Yeah. Uh, that one. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, boy, 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 That's boy. a kangaroo. But they do go boing boing, you're right. Boing boing. I asked my husband for some set, sort of like maternity support kangaroo? thing. That kangaroo. Because my back and my hips are killing me. Everyone suggested to get right there. Right there. Like a band that right wraps there. around right there. you. Right there. Yeah, so let's I figure this out, did. shall we? It's like it has great room to grow into. I got a medium. You only had a medium and a large? I wasn't I sure did. what what to order. So. And there, there's a band -aid. Oh, yeah. It's just a giant band -aid. It's a giant belt. Belt. Giant belt. belt. To help take giant. some of the pressure. Oh, I'm off of my hips and my back. Yeah. So we'll try that out today, yeah? See yeah, how it goes? Close. It's like immediate relief yeah. from my lower back. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, actually. Oh, that actually feels really good. It's a belt. Here's the belt. A belt. I know, it's glory. Let's Honestly, see. my back feels great right it's now. Thank you. This was like $17, I think. It wasn't even $20, but 
Oh, such a good purchase. That is the belt. Where is the belt? Oh, it feels nice. Well, I feel supported. Feel nice at belt. Not a whole lot of like pressure on my hips right now. Which is very helpful. That was the main problem. My hips. So I had a belt. Epsom salt baths are very helpful. Take a nice hot Epsom salt bath and sitting on my big old exercise ball. And stretching. Getting a lot of stretches like lower back and hip. Hip openers, those are very important when you're pregnant. You should do them every day, but especially when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Wow, that took so much pressure off. What the heck? I asked in one of my pregnancy groups if like those short spandex type ones are better. Everybody just said to get one that like wraps around. But I wasn't sure if it would fit because the last time I had one when I was pregnant with Miss Veda over here. Uh, I grew out of that thing so fast. I only had it for like maybe a month or two before it was just too small. So I wasn't sure if I should get a medium or a large. This is a medium. It goes all the way around. All the Velcro. way around. Yep. So as I get bigger, bigger, it'll fit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baby. It's baby. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah. Baby, it's a kangaroo. Yeah, that is a baby kangaroo. It's a baby kangaroo. Mm. Yeah, what's this baby? This is my friend. <laughs> and baby. That is your friend, huh? Because March is a very big month for us this year. We have three uh, celebrations one, all in a row. Uh, that is week after end. week. Wait. We have St. Patrick's Day. The week after that is Miss Maisie's birthday. She is turning the big five, so it is a big deal. And then the weekend right after that is Easter. Look, Dad, Dad. Yes, we have a very busy, crazy month coming Look, up. It's grasshopper. Oh, wow, the grasshopper. So, I'm going to enjoy being lazy and relaxing and just sewing stuff. Organizing the house. That's my life. Crafting and cleaning. Welcome to my channel. sure what to do with this. I have current projects here with sewing supplies. I have even more craft supplies up there. This is a basket full of homeschool stuff and sewing things, mostly embroidery things. I do enjoy this little lamp here. I do use it sometimes in the morning for like my devotions or nighttime. Also, just don't really know where else to put it besides my nightstand, which I would enjoy it there. Um, and that's just also a cluttered mess. There's there's many cluttered corners in our house right now. Kind of trying to fix that problem. We have a triangle bandana. That's fun. Okay, so this one just needs a strap to go on it. I'm going to add a strap to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is 
what I mean. It's such a mess. Everything's so disorganized. I have been using the tray a lot. I mean, it holds my pens, my needles, my scissors and thread and little loops and such. And I have current projects on it, like more triangle bingos. Oh, this is daunting. I don't know what to do with this. Um, um, slowly but surely working on this, and then it will go <laughs> off to my room with all the baby's things. I grabbed this very old tin top of mine because I want to embroider one of my sonograms, and I need something black, of course, so I can put the white thread on it. But this fabric, if I hold it up to the window, is perfectly see-through enough to be able to sketch the sonogram onto it so that way I can embroider it. And it's also an extra small, which took me giving birth to finally fit into. And I, I don't ever want to be that small again, so hopefully I won't ever need it in the future. That's a project I want to work on. Another project I want to work on is so why I have this macrame board here. It is because I want to do a little macrame rainbow for baby. Um, which is a super easy thing to do, so I'm not really concerned about that right now. I would definitely be doing that sometime this week. This is all school stuff. Um, set my embroidery thread. Like, things like this happen, and then they end up in here. And then this happens. So that's how we've come to this gigantic mess. That is why I have that thread. Okay, so this was to finish embroidering this triangle bandana that I was working on since, I don't know, summer, spring? It's been a while. There's like three different shades of green and just the stems. <laughs> um, yeah. Another slowly but surely project. I mean, it looks a lot better already without having all that clustered <laughs> mess there. See, I have like thread that I haven't used that came in this bag in here, which makes sense to me. I'm like, why well, make a bigger mess? Things I've taken out and used have been ended up in here. So that's kind of my system. There's also like duplicates and I don't want to just shove everything in here and make it even harder to obtain thread. Okay, I think we might need to break for lunch. I'm getting a little hungry. They're getting cranky which tells me that they are hungry and probably a little tired. You want to finish your pizza? Can you see some? Yeah. Yes. Or we can do eggs and bagels for dinner. Or uh, pizza bagels. Pickle. I was just thinking maybe it would be yummy to switch it up a little bit and make some pizza bagels. We did French, uh, like French bread pizzas a little while ago. My husband said those are really good. Uh, so the only other option is to just fry some dough. Because Maisie has not been liking pasta lately for some reason. Um, I think it's the noodles. We switched to this, like, veggie craft noodle. We've always used noodles with veggies in them, but we've like completely switched over to like lentil only noodles. There's also some pancakes in here too. We could go with the breakfast for dinner thing. So it's been a few days. <laughs> I woke up with full intentions of continuing that vlog and finishing my projects, but unfortunately I woke up puking yesterday morning and did not stop. And then later that night 
Macy started to throw up. It's still going today. <laughs> we are kind of miserable right now. We got a little tummy bug running through. Nobody feels good. We have all just been laying around sick and icky. So I am so sorry this vlog did not go at all the way I had planned it to, but that's pretty much my life. <laughs> Nothing goes the way I think it will. So thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you with some more chaotic, crafty, cleaning, nonsense, whatever the heck this is. Welcome to my weird life. Thank you for being here. I love you. Please drink your water and take your vitamins. Stay healthy. I love you guys. Keep it groovy. Peace out.